Hello, I'm Frank Hartman with the Hartman Law Firm, and I'm a practicing attorney in Charleston, South Carolina, specializing in auto accidents and personal injury. Today, we're talking about a very specific factual scenario. You do not have any collision coverage to have your car repaired or to get a rental car, and the defendant will not return a telephone call to his own insurance company. When you're in this situation, you're going to find it's, just, it's kind of like being in purgatory because essentially, the defendant's insurance company is not going to make a, a decision with regard to liability until they get a recorded statement from their insured about the facts surrounding the auto collision. And if the defendant refuses to answer the telephone call, then essentially you're sitting at home with no car and they're not make, moving forward on your property damage claim. And you're kind of wondering, well, how am I going to get back and forth to work? This is what I would suggest you do if you find yourself in this situation. I would go and I would get a rental car and I would make sure that you keep the receipts and you mitigate your damages. You want to keep the value of the rental that you're going to get uh, at $30 a day or less because that's typically what an insurance company is going to be willing to pay for a rental car. So and you know get a mid-sized economic sized vehicle because you, you want to keep the price down and go ahead and rent that so that you can get to work and you can do the various things that you need to do and when they finally do get their insured on the telephone two to three weeks later then they'll eventually accept liability and at that point you can say look I've had a rental car for the past two weeks and you can present that bill for the rental car to them as part of the property damage claim. The other thing that I would encourage you to do that you, as far as being proactive is go ahead and let them know where your car is so that they can go and they can send an adjuster out to make a decision as to whether they're going to total the car out. They can still do that even if they haven't talked to their insured and it'll be good if you can go ahead and cross that off the list of things that the insurance company needs to do. It's a way of being proactive and making sure that your property damage claim moves forward as quickly as possible once they actually talk to their insured. I'm Frank Hartman and today we talked about a very specific set of facts in which you've been involved in an automobile collision you do not have any collision coverage in your own vehicle to be able to work your property damage and your rental car through, and you're relying on the defendant's insurance company to do so. And unfortunately, the defendant is not responding to their own insurance company's calls. If you're watching this video, you have questions, pick up the phone and call me at 843-300-7600, or feel free to look me up at thehartmanlawfirm.com. Thanks very much for watching.